Thank you, Bear. To the families and friends of those we honor this day, we humbly say, we share in your grief and are inspired by the service of your loved ones. To fellow service members, we respectfully say, thank you for your service and devotion to our country. To our veterans groups, we with appreciation say, thank you for your perpetuating the memory of those we honor, for your service, and for your love of community and nation. As we collectively join to remember, say a prayer, and participate in this most special of days, we are constantly reminded of the words, duty, honor, and country. Memorial Day is a day to remember and to honor those who gave their lives in the service of their country. While we may never personally have known them, we feel the magnitude of loss that accompanies their passing and are inspired by those memories of their deeds. We remember the sacrifice these service members made for us and are challenged to defend the ideals they died for. We remember their courage and are humbled by the debt we owe to them. We remember their dedication to service and attempt to follow their fearless devotion to purpose in the face of adversity. We remember their contributions to their fellow man and gain a deeper insight into the meaning, love of country. Let us this day pledge that we will not forget them or the principles they fought and died for. We share a vision inspired by the example they set for us to follow. On this inviting spring day, we are reminded of the precious gift of life that we enjoy and the magnitude of the gift they made in sacrificing themselves for this country. To possess the gift of life is to gain a deeper appreciation of the sacrifice of men and women who died in the service of their country. We stand at a place where monuments remind us of those who gave their lives while protecting a way of life that resonates in the freedoms we enjoy. We live in a time and have lived in times past in which others would wish to destroy our way of life. These fallen heroes we honor this day speak to us with a clarion call. Be strong, be brave, and be true to the rights we Americans hold so dear in this sweet land of liberty. Let us salute these men and women of all races and creeds who paid the supreme sacrifice in the service of their country. Vigilance in the protection of our way of life in these United States of America knows no limitations based on gender, race, or creed. Their lives and needs are the force that compels us to gather, remember, grieve, and depart with a renewed confidence in the human spirit and a deeper love of country. The beauty of this spring day is the harbinger of the long pleasant days of summer to come. The beauty of such a place as this is a living memorial to the persons whose names are chiseled in stone or cast in bronze a short distance from here. Freedom is ours to enjoy because men and women from the beginning of our nation have risked their lives to ensure this gift of liberty survive in the face of tyranny. We as a nation today honor their memory. It is uncertain what contributions these brave soldiers, seamen, marines, and airmen would have made had they lived. But the sacrifice they have made is an example for us to live by. 
In our busy lives, we often pass over the subtle and important objects or relationships that in hindsight are most telling. Take a moment before you leave these historic grounds to look around. Stand before the monuments, read the names, and feel the force that brings us here today. You may regret having lost the opportunity. We use this day to reflect upon how our lives have been impacted by their sacrifice. I regret that in all my too busy life as a high school student, I failed to notice something that I would later discover 50 years after graduating. When I returned to school 50 years after graduating, I noticed a plaque dedicated to those students who had served their country in the world wars and were awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. I was filled with pride when I discovered three such recipients had attended my high school. A name on a plaque signifies the importance of the contribution made by the person but tells us little of the context of the recognition. Each, along with so many others who died in the service of their country, is honored today. Who were they? these people on this high school plaque. They were, at one time, school kids, like their classmates. Yearbook photographs show their smiling high school students with the same hopes and ambitions for a long and fulfilling life as all high school students. But they would, in a future moment in time, impact on the lives of many by acts of bravery that evidenced a devotion to their fellow man and of country that was far from ordinary. Isidore S. Jackman, an Army Staff Sergeant, was 23 years old when he picked up a bazooka from a fallen comrade and took on two enemy tanks. He would die in the fight that ensued, but not before he had forced the enemy to retreat saving his fellow soldiers. Dig deeper into his past and you would discover that he had emigrated from Germany with his family when he was two. Six of his uncles and aunts would remain in Germany to die in the Holocaust. Henry Gilbert Costin graduated the class of 1916. An Army private first class, he was killed when only 20 years old when he was the first to volunteer to charge an enemy machine gun nest during the Meuse Argonne Offensive in World War I. Milton Ernest Ricketts, a Navy lieutenant, died while in charge of a damaged control party on the USS Yorktown during the Battle of the Coral Sea. He, like so many we honor today, was buried at sea, far removed from family, community, and friends. In this place, each name on those monuments a short distance from here has a story to tell. While they may not have won the Medal of Honor, each died a hero in their own right. Theirs is a story that begins with family, friends, neighbors, and of growing up in Virginia and in Loudoun County. Their smiling faces are seen in photographic memories captured during their lives that were cut short by their sacrifice for us. Time limits my ability to go over each name on those memorials. However, the magnitude of the contributions made by all is the object of our remembrance this day. Reference to some will help put in focus the memory of all, and each being more than a name on a memorial. Captain Edward C. Fuller was a member of the United States Marine Corps, a resident of Hamilton, was killed leading his men at the deadly battle of Bella Wood in World War I. Major Robert S. Janney, U.S. Army Air Force, died while fighting in World War II and is buried in the Florence American Cemetery in Florence, Italy. A native of Loudoun County, Sergeant Harold C. Furr, lost his life while in combat with the 3rd Armored Division on September 12, 1944. He is buried in the Henry Chappelle American Cemetery in Henry Chappelle, Belgium. Second Lieutenant Alfred O. Hutchinson, United States Army, was born in Loudoun County on January 1st, 1927. He died in combat in Korea on September 5, 
1950. Army PFC Waylon F. McCauley was 20 years old when he was killed fighting in Huang Tin Province in Vietnam. Army Specialist Leonard W. Kidd of Ashburn was 19 years old when he lost his life fighting in Vietnam for his country on July 27, 1970. Welby Herbert Grayson III was a PFC in the United States Marine Corps when he died in combat in Quang Nam Province in Vietnam. Army Sergeant Scott Blank Kirkpatrick of Sterling died while leading his men in a sniper attack in Iraq. Army Specialist Stephen Lee Mace of Percival lost his life while fighting in one of the fierce remote mountain battles of the Afghan War. Army Specialist Douglas J. Green of Sterling was killed fighting in the mountains of Afghanistan. Marine Corps Captain Michael M. Quinn of Percival died while in preparation for deployment to Afghanistan. The Civil War statue that graces this courtyard is a monument that reminds us of how close we live to places of conflict. Places such as Gettysburg, Antietam, Manassas, and Balls Bluff remind us of the sacrifice of those who have died in battle. It does not take a Matthew Brady photograph to shock us into the sense of loss that is represented in those conflicts of the past. Stand at Bloody Lane, Little Round Top, or the balls bluff cliffs, and you feel the chill in your spine that charges you to understand who these fallen were and to silently whisper a prayer. These are sacred grounds where honor and respect reign supreme. Today is a day that reminds us to take notice. Don't let the significance of this day be held hostage in family picnics, ball games, and fishing. It is a day to remember and rekindle the spirit of America, the spirit that moved these fallen veterans of wars of yesterday and today to sacrifice their lives to preserve the United States of America. In familiar venues and remote places throughout the world stand markers that reflect the known and unknown who died in the service of their country. Many of us have a personal relationship with the events of today our lives having been impacted directly by the loss of a family member, friend, fellow, soldier, seaman, marine, or airman. My uncle, a sergeant in the army who lovingly smiles back in photographs taken with my mother and her family, is a man I never knew. His service medals were kept in a special place my mother would learn of his death by enemy fire when I was but an infant. My mother, in many ways, was a very private person, did not talk about the circumstances surrounding his death. Photographs of she and her brother told the story of two siblings who were not only brother and sister, but best friends. My uncle's photograph, while in uniform, was prominently displayed in the living room. I realized how important that uniform was to my mother only when my picture in uniform was placed next to his shortly before being deployed to Vietnam. My uncle is remembered along with so many of his fellow service members with a chiseled white headstone in a military cemetery in the neighborhood. It is a testament to the freedoms we enjoy in America that we are permitted to be different. Some people wear patriotism on their sleeves on this day others only in their hearts. Some show respect by riding a motorcycle with rolling thunder, while others in hushed tones of silent prayer. Both honor these heroes in their own way. There is no guidebook for we Americans how to show our respect on this special day. Death of one in the service of their country can affect us personally when someone we know pays the supreme sacrifice. I recall vividly the conversation my fellow Marine and I had when in training with the Marine Corps. We sat on a hilltop watching the sunset over the beautiful Virginia countryside. I would later learn while stationed in Vietnam that he had lost his life by stepping on a booby trap. All of us have had our lives in some way impacted by the lives of those we pay honor to this Memorial Day 
2015. Those who died in the service of their country come from all walks of life. All are heroes, all are special. We remember our gallant veterans who paid the supreme sacrifice, not because of their lineage or wealth, but because of the dream they lived and died. Freedom is a special commodity. Those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to guard, protect, and preserve the freedoms we enjoy will forever be remembered. In silence, let us collectively take a moment to remember, a moment to reflect, and a moment to give thanks for the lives of these fallen veterans. In our own way, whether by prayer or otherwise, let us express our love for them, our thanks for them, and our firm belief that they have found peace and we have dedicated our lives never to forget and in not forgetting, armored ourselves from the destructive forces of evil with a belief that we are champions of freedom. With a renewed spirit that comes from this day, let us honor these fallen men and women, and in so honoring their service, give us the courage to persevere in the pursuit of freedom. As we leave this ceremony, we are encouraged and emboldened by the words of America. My country, tis in thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of thy pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Our fathers, God, to thee, author of liberty, to thee we sing. Long may our land be bright with freedom's holy light. Protect us by thy might, great God, our King. In silence, we give thanks for those we honor for the blessings of liberty they have preserved. Thank you.